Were you scammed while traveling in a foreign country? What kind of scams were they? And what did you do? Traveling to a foreign country is an exciting and adventurous experience, but it can also come with its own set of challenges, especially regarding scams. While avoiding all scams is impossible, there are ways to protect yourself and your money while you're on the road. However, don't let these scams ruin your trip, and don't judge the actions of an individual to the people in the country you visit. Unfortunately, not all people you encounter in a foreign country have your best interests at heart. Life is good as long as you are alive, safe, and well. Here are 25 ways to avoid a scam in a foreign country. Do your research. Before you travel, learn about common scams in the area you'll be visiting and how to avoid them. Trust your gut. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Don't carry all your cash. Instead, divide it into smaller amounts and keep it in different places, like your wallet, money belt, and a hotel safe. Use credit cards instead of cash. Credit cards offer better fraud protection and can be easier to replace if lost or stolen. Don't fall for street vendors who ask you to change money. They may offer you a reasonable exchange rate but then switch the money with a fake bill. Be wary of people who approach you with unsolicited offers. They may be trying to sell you something overpriced or fake. Don't give out personal information. Scammers may ask for your passport number or credit card information to steal your identity. Avoid sketchy ATMs. Look for ATMs in well-lit areas and the ones with a camera. Don't use ones that look like they've been tampered with. Watch out for pickpocketing. Keep your belongings close to your body and be especially careful in crowded places. Don't be too friendly with strangers. Scammers may try to gain your trust by pretending to be a new friend. Don't fall for the find a lost ring scam. Someone may pretend to find a lost ring and ask you to buy it, but it's likely a cheap piece of jewelry. Don't take taxis that aren't licensed. Always use official taxis or ride-hailing apps to avoid overpriced rides. Don't buy anything from people who approach you on the street. They may be trying to sell you fake designer goods or stolen items. Don't be afraid to say no. If someone is trying to scam you, smile, say no respectfully, and walk away. Don't let someone distract you. Scammers may try to distract you while their accomplice takes your money or valuables. Don't trust people who ask for money for charity. Always give to reputable organizations instead of giving money to people on the street. Don't fall for the free tour scam. A free tour may cost you a lot of money in hidden fees or overpriced souvenirs. Don't be too trusting. Scammers may try to gain your trust by offering to help you with directions or other services. Don't take shortcuts. Scammers may offer to skip the line for a fee, but it's usually not worth it. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're unsure about something, ask a local or a fellow traveler for their advice. Don't fall for the good luck scam. If someone approaches you and tells you that you have to give him money for good luck, don't believe him. Be wary of official taxis. Always pre-book a taxi or use an app to ensure that you're getting a safe and reliable ride. Don't be fooled by fake police officers. 
If someone claims to be a police officer and asks for your money or passport, don't believe them. If you're unsure, ask to see their identification. Don't let anyone pressure you into buying something. If you're unsure about a purchase, just walk away. Don't get lost in translation. Scammers may approach you with a fake map or offer to help you find your way, only to lead you to a store or restaurant that pays them a commission. By remembering these 25 ways to avoid a scam in a foreign country, you'll be able to enjoy your travels with peace of mind. Just remember to stay vigilant, trust your instincts, refuse politely, smile, and have fun. What about you? How many of these scams have you fallen victim to? Share in the comments below.